Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss an interesting practical problem on the development of lateral surface. Read the question. A vertical chimney of 70 cm diameter joins a roof sloping at 35 degree with horizontal. The shortest portion over the roof is 32 cm. Obtain the shape of the sheet metal which the chimney can be fabricated. This is entirely a practical and different problem which we may not come across in the previous cases. If you wish, in the last session we discussed hexagonal prism on the development of lateral surface. If you wish to see that particular problem video, you can check the description box for the link. Now, being the chimney on the roof, being chimney on the roof, the roof slope is 35 degree. The roof slope is the section plane inclination which is 35 degree with horizontal. Next one is here it is 70 centimeter dia and the shortest portion over the roof is 32 centimeter. So normally we will prefer the dimensions unit as mm. Here it's given as 70 centimeter. It may converted into mm as per our convenience with the help of scale value. So first of all see what is this exact practical case it is a room where we are having a roof on both the sides so in a roof we can see uh, in a roof we can see here where we are having a chimney this green line is a chimney and shortest portion of the roof and the shortest portion over the roof is 32 centimeter where is the shortest portion you see my cursor this is the shortest portion over the roof shortest portion over the roof this is the exact uh, chimney which is on the roof chimney on the roof so first set what is the value of scale so what i said here is 1 is to 20 scale value is 1 is to 20 which means uh, I'm going to convert this 70 centimeter into mm. So it is 700 mm. 700 divided by 20 is 35. 700 divided by 20 is 35. So 35 mm. So make sure that which dimension you are going to use. Dimension unit. So all dimensions whatever I'm going to use in this particular answer is in terms of mm. Scale is 1 is to 20. It has to be followed for all the dimension values available in the question 70 centimeter as well as this 32 centimeter now draw xy being chimney you can see uh, a circle a circle at the base okay it's like looks like a cylinder so it looks like a cylinder we can say from the top view it is a circle so draw a circle after completing the circle Divide this circle into 8 equal divisions or 4 equal divisions or 12 equal divisions. We will go for 8 equal division. And what is the diameter of this uh, circle is? As per 1 is to 20, the two dimensions in mm, it is 535. 700 divided by 20, it is 35. 535. Now the circle is completed in the top view. Now, Next step, you can divide this circle into 8 equal divisions. 8 equal divisions, you can divide this into 8 equal division and do the uh, notations A to F, I, I think uh, H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So we know that uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it is the base of the chimney, it is invisible from the top view. And A1, B1, C1, D1 up to H1, it is the top face of the chimney which is visible. So this is the top face of the chimney which is visible. And the bottom face exactly on the roof may not be visible from the top view. Now you can extend a projector and complete the front view by means of thin lines. By means of thin lines. Now the axis height is not given in our question. Axis height it is not clearly given in our question. So I just extended without any specific distance of the axis. Now we can check what is the section plane condition. Roof sloping at 35 degree with horizontal. Roof 
sloping width 35 degree at horizontal where the chimney is placed on the roof exactly you can check this is the chimney on the roof the longest edge this is the longest edge and another one is the shortest portion one side of the chimney we are having the shortest portion and another one is the longest portion on this longest portion chimney corner you can check this this is the chimney corner exactly at my uh, cursor this is chimney corner exactly on the roof so from this point so from this point i have to draw a section plane which is at an inclination of 35 degree as per the question 35 degree with horizontal so fix this corner this corner longer edge corner longer portion of the chimney you can check again here why i am fixing that corner is it is exactly on the roof exactly on the roof so one corner longest portion of the chimney has to touch x y so fix this point make an inclination of 35 degree with that we can complete the section plane before that given notations it is well known and you can extend the projectors it are all completely uh, comfortable for us as i said fix this e dash fix this e dash draw the section plane with an inclination of 35 degree it must travel through one end of this a dash a1 dash and a dash a1 dash and a dash now fix this section plane cutting point see the cursor fix this section plane cutting point above this shortest portion over the roof is 32 centimeter so fix this cutting point section plane cutting point and uh, 320 divided by 20 as per our scale you can check our scale value is 1 is to 20 320 mm divided by 20 it is 16 all dimensions are in mm so after completing the section plane from the E dash corner which is an inclination of 35 degree and fix this point the shortest portion over the roof this is the shortest portion shortest portion over the roof is 32 centimeter complete the 32 centimeter extension above the section plane the shortest portion now top face of the chimney has to be completed. So one more thing what we notified or what you identified in this problem as new thing. So always we uh, discussed in the previous cases the portion removed portion is always between the observer and the section plane. Removed portion is in between the section plane and an observer. Here as per the condition of chimney the bottom most portion is removed top most portion is the remaining portion now you can check this front view with this chimney green color this green color line exactly we obtained as it is on the roof the chimney now we have to complete the development of the surface of this chimney we have to fabricate the surface of the chimney okay so let us discuss uh, let us discuss this uh, development of lateral surface of the uh, chimney while developing the uh, lateral surface of the chimney so it is the common procedure what we did in the hexagonal prism what we did in the hexagonal prism extend the uh, projectors from the top face of this uh, chimney or cylinder so from the top face we can draw x y before that we can complete the section plane uh, cutting points so here a1 dash and a dash on this uh, long edge i am having not long edge it is generator one dash this in between lines purely for our reference being a cylinder always remember only the boundary surface is visible no need to uh, draw as continuous thick lines this in between projectors only the boundary surface has to be converted into thick lines okay now this is the one dash next point cutting point here it is two dash next section plane cutting point on the axis where we are having uh, c1 uh, oc1 oc and g1 g so with this we can say this is the cutting point of uh, section plane three dash and next one is here it is four dash 
and next cutting point is on the e dash corner it is 5 dash so similarly we have to go back because we completed only one on the a a1 another one is on b b1 which is b 3 2 this is 3 and this is 4 and this is 5 remaining 6 7 8 on the 4 dash we are having 6 dash on the 4 dash we are having 6 dash because we are having uh, 2 uh, split ups one is for uh, d1 dash uh, d and another one is f1 dash f so for g1 dash g we are having 7 dash on h1 dash h we are having 8 dash so with this section plane cutting points is completed so we can extend the projectors on the top face without any specific distance we can mark uh, yeah we can mark a vertical projector so in case of hexagonal prism we know side of the edge is 20 or 30 mm here what we have to do is we have to use pi d pi 3.14 into diameter it is what we used is 35 in terms of mm pi into 35 it may be around 110 you will get so it may be around 110 you can get so that 110 has to be divided into 8 divisions as per this uh, top view we have divided into 8 divisions so 110 mm divided by uh, 8 approximately you will get around 13.75 in case of mm mm it is 13.75 if you use the scale it is 1.375 centimeter approximately we can take 1.4 centimeter so eight divisions 1.4 between each divisions so that is pi into d so we have used in terms of mm it is 35 so pi d each division it has pi into 35 is around 110 it has to be divided into 8 divisions 110 divided by 8 it is 13.75 other 2 in mm for use the scale in terms of centimeter it is you can approximately take 1.4 distance between each projectors each divisions 8 divisions we have to complete the distance as 1.375 so 1.4 centimeter now similar to the previous case you can extend the projector from one dash before that we can give a1 a top face bottom face may be completed b1 b c1 c d1 d e1 e f1 f g1 g h1 h and finally it is a1 a so with this uh, we completed all these points you can extend the projectors from one dash this is the one dash cutting plane cutting point of section plane extend the projector this one dash is exactly on a one dash and a dash so we are having a one a at both ends so mark one next one is b one dash here it is b dash on b1 dash b dash you have to first extend the projector parallel to xy b1 dash b in this point we are having point number two and on h1 h h1 h you can check here 8 dash 8 dash exactly on 2 dash projector but it is on the division of h1 h 8 next one is c1 dash c we are having uh, 3 dash c1 dash is here here it is c dash I'm having three dash so you can extend the projector which is parallel to xy mark three finally and here it is seven dash you can check here it is seven dash so on the g1 g i'm having seven last three more points is four dash six dash this is four dash six dash on d1 dash d it is four so first you have to extend the projector it is d1 d it is four and e1 e it is 6 sorry f1 f it is 6 e1 e e dash here and e1 dash on the top face on this point in we are having 5 dash it is nothing but 5 so now we have to complete the remaining portion from 1 to 8 again 1 to this a1 to uh, a1 by means of continuous thick lines so first draw the continuous thick lines and being it is the cylinder you have to draw join all these 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 4 2 5 5 2 6 by means of continuous thick lines 
and it is a smooth surface don't draw or don't join these 1 2 2 2 2 3 using scale if you used scale it looks like a prism or a pyramid prism and also don't forget don't convert this b1 to 2 c1 to 3 to thick lines if you do that it looks like exactly a prism so being a cylinder always remember only the boundary surface is visible remaining all the divisions why we divided into 8 for our better accuracy of the smooth surface we divided the cylinder into 8 divisions so now the sectional view is not asked in our question only thing they asked sheet metal in which the chimney can be fabricated this is the development of the chimney development of chimney so here uh, two new things we learned the section plane condition is not clearly given we have to use the concept and complete the section plane afterwards only we can obtain the height of the chimney axis of the chimney the shortest portion is 32 mm after completion of section plane only we can obtain the axis height okay so that is entirely new for us if you are not aware of this particular question most moreover you may you may feel difficult to solve it during our exam so i hope it is useful for you to like this video you can click the like button and share this uh, particular problem answer with your friends and subscribe the channel for further videos uh, we will meet you again on the next problem until that bye bye thank you